Hey beautiful souls, welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel, where we unlock the secrets of the universe and the power of the mind. Today, we're diving into a deeply profound and personal topic, how to properly grieve the loss of a loved one and still manifest positive outcomes using the law of assumption. Whether you've lost a grandparent, parent, child, sibling, pet, job, or relationship, we're here to help you find light after loss. And remember, if you love our content, hit that like button, subscribe, share, and sign up for our free newsletter. Let's positively impact the lives of over 11 million people by the end of 2024. Grieving the loss of a loved one is one of the most challenging experiences we face in life. Trust me, I know. I lost my mother four years ago to this day, and it felt like my world had shattered. But through Neville Goddard's teachings, I found a way to process my grief and continue manifesting positive outcomes. Today, we're going to explore how you can navigate grief and still harness the power of the law of assumption to bring light back into your life. Ready to embark on this journey? Let's dive in. Understanding grief and the law of assumption. Grief is a natural response to loss, and it's important to allow ourselves to feel and process these emotions. According to Neville Goddard, we never actually die. We are spiritual beings having a human experience, and our loved ones continue to exist in another dimension. The law of assumption teaches us that our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality. Even in times of grief, we can use this principle to manifest healing and positive outcomes. When we assume that our loved ones are at peace and that we can still connect with them on a spiritual level, we open ourselves to healing. Neville often spoke about the importance of faith and imagination. By assuming the feeling of our loved ones being in a state of peace and joy, we align our energy with the, that reality and find comfort in our grief. My mother's passing. Losing my mother was one of the hardest things I ever faced. She was a pillar of strength in my life and her sudden passing left me devastated. I had used the law of assumption to see her healthy and whole and when she appeared to be recovering, I was filled with hope. But then she passed away. I felt like a manifestation failure. I questioned everything I believed in. But then I remembered Neville's words. We are actors in the play of life and all of us enter and exit on time. It took me a while to accept that my mother had played her part perfectly and that her journey wasn't over, just transformed. This understanding helped me process my grief and continue living my life with purpose. The law of assumption in the cycle of life. According to Neville, life is a continuous cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Our physical bodies may perish, but our consciousness persists. This belief can provide immense comfort during times of loss. By assuming that our loved ones are still with us in spirit, we can maintain a sense of connection and find solace in our grief. One powerful way to apply the law of assumption during grief is to imagine your loved one in a state of bliss and joy. Picture them surrounded by light and love, free from pain and suffering. This visualization not only helps you cope with your loss, but also raises your own vibrational frequency, allowing you to manifest positive outcomes in your life. Embracing emotions and healing. It's important to remember that grieving is not about suppressing emotions, but embracing them. Allow yourself to feel the sadness, anger, and confusion that comes with loss. These emotions are a natural part of the healing process. Use the law of assumption to affirm that these feelings are temporary and that you will find peace and joy again. Affirmations can be a powerful tool during this time. Try repeating affirmations like, I am healing every day. I am surrounded by love and support. And my loved one is at peace. These affirmations help reprogram your subconscious mind and create a positive mindset that aids in your healing journey. The power of visualization. Visualization is a key component of Neville's teachings and can be incredibly healing during times of grief. Create a mental image of your loved one in a happy, peaceful place. Imagine them smiling, laughing, and free from any pain or suffering. This practice not only comforts your heart, but also strengthens your belief in their continued existence. Visualization can also help you manifest positive outcomes in your own life. By focusing on the positive aspects of your loved one's life and the joy they brought to you, you can channel that energy into your own manifestations. Remember, what you focus on expands. So, focus on the love and joy and you will attract more of it into your life. Connecting with your loved ones spiritually. One of the most comforting aspects of Neville's teachings is the belief that we can still connect with our loved ones on a spiritual level. 
This connection can be a source of great comfort and guidance. To strengthen this connection, find a quiet space, close your eyes, and take a few deep breaths. Imagine your loved one standing before you, radiating love and light. Talk to them as if they were physically present. Share your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Ask for their guidance and support. You may be surprised at the sense of peace and clarity that follows. This practice not only helps you feel connected, but also reassures you that they are still with you, watching over you. Using affirmations for healing and manifestation. Affirmations are a powerful tool in the law of assumption and can help you navigate grief and manifest positive outcomes. By repeating positive statements, you can reprogram your subconscious mind and align your energy with your desired reality. Here are some affirmations to help you during this time. I am healing and growing stronger every day. I am surrounded by love and support. My loved one is at peace and watching over me. I am grateful for the time we shared and the memories we created. I am open to joy and abundance in my life. Repeat these affirmations daily and feel the truth of them in your heart. Over time, you will notice a shift in your mindset and energy, allowing you to manifest positive outcomes even in the face of loss. The importance of self-care. Grieving takes a toll on your mind, body, and spirit. It's crucial to prioritize self-care during this time. Engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation, whether it's taking a walk in nature, practicing yoga, reading a book, or spending time with loved ones. Make sure to nurture yourself. Remember, self-care is not selfish, it's essential. By taking care of yourself, you replenish your energy and create a positive environment for healing and manifestation. Treat yourself with kindness and compassion and know that it's okay to take things one day at a time. Finding meaning and purpose after loss. One of the most challenging aspects of grief is finding meaning and purpose after loss. Neville teaches us that we are all actors in the play of life and our experiences, no matter how painful, have a purpose. Reflect on the lessons and growth that have come from your loss. How has it shaped you? What new perspectives has it given you? By finding meaning in your experience, you can transform your pain into a source of strength and inspiration. Use this newfound purpose to fuel your manifestations. Remember, you have the power to create a beautiful life even after loss. Manifesting positive relationships. Losing a loved one can leave a void in your heart, but it also opens the door for new relationships and connections. Use the law of assumption to manifest positive relationships in your life. Imagine yourself surrounded by supportive, loving, and uplifting people who bring joy and positivity into your life. Visualize spending time with these people, sharing laughs and creating new memories. Affirm that you attract kind, compassionate, and like-minded individuals. By focusing on the positive relationships you desire, you align your energy with that reality and attract it into your life. Manifesting Career and Financial Abundance Grief can also impact your career and financial stability. Use the law of assumption to manifest abundance in these areas. Imagine yourself in your dream job, feeling fulfilled and successful. Visualize financial stability and prosperity flowing into your life. Affirmations like, I am successful and prosperous. I attract abundance and opportunities and I am financially secure can help reprogram your subconscious mind. By focusing on the positive outcomes you desire, you align your energy with that reality and attract it into your life. Manifesting health and well-being. Grieving can take a toll on your physical health. Use the law of assumption to manifest health and well-being. Visualize yourself feeling vibrant, energetic, and healthy. Imagine engaging in activities that promote wellness and bring you joy. Affirmations like, I am healthy and vibrant. My body is strong and resilient, and I take care of my mind, body, and spirit can help reprogram your subconscious mind. By focusing on the positive outcomes you desire, you align your energy with that reality and attract it into your life. Embracing change and transformation. Loss often brings about significant changes in our lives. Embrace these changes as opportunities for growth and transformation. Use the law of assumption to visualize positive outcomes and new beginnings. Imagine yourself thriving in your new circumstances, adapting with grace and resilience. Affirm that you are capable of handling change and that new opportunities are on the horizon. By embracing change and seeing it as a chance for growth, you align your energy with positive outcomes. 
The role of faith and trust. Faith and trust are essential components of the law of assumption. Trust that the universe has a plan for you and that everything is unfolding in divine timing. Have faith in your ability to manifest your desires and in the support of the universe. When you feel doubt or fear, remind yourself of Neville's teachings and the power of your mind. Trust that your loved ones are watching over you and that you have the strength to overcome any challenge. By maintaining faith and trust, you align your energy with positive outcomes. Creating a sacred space for reflection. Creating a sacred space for reflection can be incredibly healing during times of grief. Designate a special area in your home where you can meditate, journal, and connect with your loved ones spiritually. Fill this space with comforting items like candles, crystals, photos, and meaningful objects. Spend time here daily, allowing yourself to feel your emotions, reflect on your experiences, and connect with your inner self. This sacred space can be a sanctuary of healing and manifestation. The power of forgiveness. Forgiveness is a powerful tool in the healing process. Whether it's forgiving yourself, your loved ones, or the circumstances surrounding the loss, forgiveness can release the emotional burdens that hold you back. Use the law of assumption to visualize forgiveness and healing. Imagine letting go of any resentment, guilt, or anger. Affirm that you are free from these emotions and that you are open to love and healing. By practicing forgiveness, you create space for positive manifestations in your life. Finding joy and laughter again. Grieving doesn't mean you have to stay in a state of sadness forever. Finding joy and laughter again is a crucial part of the healing process. Allow yourself to experience moments of happiness and laughter even if they seem small. Engage in activities that bring you joy, spend time with people who make you laugh, and watch funny movies or shows. Remember, it's okay to find joy again. By embracing joy and laughter, you raise your vibrational frequency and attract positive outcomes in your life. Connecting with a supportive community. Surrounding yourself with a supportive community can make a significant difference in your healing journey. Connect with others who understand your experience and can offer comfort, guidance, and encouragement. Join support groups attend spiritual gatherings, or connect with online communities that resonate with you. By surrounding yourself with positive and uplifting individuals, you create a network of support that helps you navigate grief and manifest positive outcomes. We've explored some incredible techniques and insights today on how to grieve and manifest positive outcomes using the law of assumption. Now it's your turn to put them into practice. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. We're here to support you every step of the way. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and sign up for our free newsletter. Join our community and let's reach our goal of positively impacting the lives of over 11 million people by the end of 2024. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep dreaming, keep believing, and keep manifesting.